Hello you guys! Welcome to my favorite video of the entire year. Sorry I sound like a literal man today. I have gone through it this past week. I'm finally starting to feel better. This ear is completely deaf. Clogged, she can't hear a thing. Obviously I'm still a little nasally and congested, but overall I'm feeling good considering how I have been feeling. I don't know what I had, it kind of felt like the good old fashioned flu, but I figured it since I'm finally feeling a little bit better, it is time, it's honestly overdue. It is time for me to film my 2023 Christmas gift ideas video. I have made this video every single year since I was probably like 13 years old and I do not see an end in sight. Strap in, I feel like this might be my most intense one yet. I have over 200 gift ideas for you guys. So if you still don't know what to ask for for Christmas or you don't know what to get your friends and family, listen in. Listen in. Grab a snack, grab a notebook, grab a pen, and let's get to it. I want to be able to put pictures up, so I'm going to move that so we have kind of like some blank space here. Hopefully that looks fine. Hey guys, I already have filmed like half of this video, but I realized in the beginning I forgot to mention that I have literally so many of these things linked in the description box so that you guys can find all of it super easily and add it to your Christmas list or add it to your cart if you're buying it for somebody else. I also have my Amazon storefront link below and I have a whole Christmas wish list list on there that I spent so many hours making. So really appreciate it if you're gonna go look at any of these items to do it through there, please. Okay, I love you guys. Number one, we have Victoria's Secret PJ sets. If you're a hot girl, you get it. You get it. They're adorable. Number two, going with PJs, we have Brandy PJ sets. I am so obsessed. I still don't have a Brandy PJ set, but best believe I am asking for one this year. Aritzia bodysuits or basics. Anything skims. They have such cute tank tops now with like little lace detail. I literally, I can't. Obviously, there's great undergarments and bodysuits and the dresses. Like there's so many things and you can't go wrong. Wide leg sweatpants, my favorite brands to get them from are are Grey Cloud, Hollister, Airy, Target, honestly. Leather pants. We all know the trend. I'm telling you guys, Abercrombie has the best ones that you can get. They're so comfy. They're flattering. Otherwise, obviously, Aritzia has like their famous ones. Cargo pants from American Eagle, Garage, again, Abercrombie. I'm just giving you guys some like store ideas. Any clothing or accessories from Jerf Avenue, which is Matilda Jerf's like little clothing line thing she started. The Lululemon Define Jacket the Lululemon scuba jacket, both very popular jackets over the last couple of years and they continue to just look good on anybody that wears them. A puffer vest, whether that's from Amazon or North Face is up to you. Going with that, a puffer jacket. I feel like these are still very in and you can never go wrong with having like a nice heavy duty puffer jacket for the winter, especially if you live someplace cold. I can't imagine if you live in like Miami why you'd ask for this, but you never know. North Face has adorable ones and so does Aritzia. I would definitely look into Aritzia if you want to invest or have somebody else invest for you. Now we have some hoodie options. We have the Mad Happy hoodies, Aritzia hoodies, Essentials hoodies, Comfort hoodies and sweatpants, Dandy World hoodies, Glossier hoodie, White Fox sweat sets, Etsy hoodies, which is such a good place to look and find like super unique hoodies that nobody else is gonna have. Next is the camo hoodies that I keep seeing everywhere. The one I keep seeing people post about is from Abercrombie and I think it's adorable. I just don't know if I should get it or try to pull it off because like I don't hunt at all. at all. You do you, but I don't know. Swimsuits, either from Kalani Kini's, Black Bow, Triangle, Frankie's Bikinis, Paxson has cute ones. There's so many good bikinis out there, and I know during Christmas time we're not usually thinking about bikinis, but if you always get to the summer and you're like, oh my god, I hate all my swimsuits, I have no swimsuits to wear, think about it early and like, you know, plan for summer. And finally, gym clothes, whether you're a gym girly or you just like the aesthetic. Lulu, Gymshark, Aloe Yoga, TLF is a good brand, I found that on Instagram. And then and if you're looking for Lulu dupes, like literal Lululemon quality, it's like the Lululemon Align quality, but for $20 instead of $100, go on Amazon and go to Crazy Yoga. That's the brand. I have a bunch of their stuff linked on my Amazon storefront, and I have some of it linked in the Christmas wishlist category on my Amazon storefront. 
Uggs. Are you surprised? Probably not. You could ask for the Tasman Uggs, which I have. I've had them for years before they became popular. I definitely put all of you guys on, so you're welcome. <laughs> Ultra Minis or like the Platform Ultra Minis, those are like the popular ones. I have like the, not the Ultra Minis, but the ones that are a little bit taller because the Ultra Minis just looked weird on my feet. Or you could get like the actual slippers, either the Croquet, cro 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 Croquet, or the Disquet. I don't know how to say these words. They're just different types of slippers. Birkenstock Boston Clogs. These are really popular for like the granola girlies. I personally think that I would look horrible trying to like rock these, but if you think that you could, then do it. Cloud Slides. Again, I have these linked on my Amazon storefront because the, it, I found the best pair of cloud slides that actually feel like a cloud. I feel like so many times I've seen the rubber slides, I go to touch them because I have my own pair and I want to see how soft those ones are. And I touch them and they're like bricks. They're rock hard. What's the point of calling it a cloud slide if it doesn't feel like you're walking on a cloud? So I have the ones linked that I have. The Nike 270s. Nike Dunks, obviously. I have a few different colorways written out. Sorry I keep looking down here. What do you guys expect from me? You know what I mean? Like you want me to memorize all this? I have a few different colorways written down for you guys so that you guys have some inspo of like what ones to actually ask for. I really like the gray fog ones. Light or wood or wood brown. <laughs> Light silver corduroy judge gray. I have these ones super cute. I wear them so much and then obviously you could ask for ones Jordan ones super cute white wolf gray sunset haze coconut milk and gray fog I have the gray fog ones low super cute Those are some colorway options that I like adidas campus I personally again don't think I could pull these off But I know they're super popular right now and I know a lot of you guys would look super cute in these Converse probably like platform high tops. These are my favorite like platform converse I wore them all throughout junior and senior year and they got absolutely trashed so I don't really wear them as much anymore I actually ordered a second pair I've owned two pairs of these that's how much I love them they're super comfy too new balance shoes I have again multiple options the 550s the 530s the 9060s the 574s the 480s. Sorry, I feel like I'm doing a math equation right now. All super cute New Balance options, in my opinion. Then we have the Puma Cali Dream Sneaker. Now, Reebok options. The Club C Revenge, which, let me tell you, has been my favorite shoe over the past year. I have the black and white ones. Um, they kind of turn into my, like, everyday sneaker, like my old, like, Air Force One vibe. You know what I mean? Like, I used to wear Air Force Ones every single day. The past year, it's been my Club C Revenges or the Club C 85s. These are, like, the vintage looking ones. I think they have a platform version now too which is super cute i know on clouds are super popular i don't personally own a pair but some of my friends do and say that they're really great and comfy hoka's dr shoals time off sneaker if you guys are looking for like a european i don't know if this is gonna make sense imagine like a european girly like in her cute little like fall outfit she's wearing plain white sneakers that look casual but classy at the same time i bought them for when i went to europe for a month and i wore them damn near every single day walked like twenty thousand steps plus in them every single day my feet did not hurt at all next you could ask for house slippers i have a pair on right now you know just slippers to wear around the house you could get like cute christmasy ones or you could get like these smiley ones or whatever socks nike socks um or like cute girly fun ankle socks to wear with like sneakers and stuff i think that's really cute or like to wear with uggs and then fuzzy socks obviously fuzzy socks are always great to get at christmas time it's cold you want to feel cozy fuzzy socks are the move this video is going to be so long <laughs> Like literally so long. I'm so glad you guys are spending four hours of your life with me today. Next, accessories. This is like jewelry, sunglasses, bags, stuff like that. Here are a few of my favorite jewelry brands that you guys can look into if you want jewelry. Bubble and Bead, Every Jewels, ALV, Alv Jewels. I don't know how to say that. Kendra Scott, Tiffany, Pandora. More specifically, you could ask for gold hoops. Gold hoops are so in. I wear gold hoops pretty much every single time that I put earrings in. It's just my go-to. Tiffany & Co. Heart Jewelry. My friend got me a Tiffany necklace. I think two birthdays ago. I still wear it all the time. It's like the little silver heart with the pink heart. So cute. Kendra Scott necklaces and bracelets. E. Newton bracelets or bracelet dupes. They have them on Amazon. It's like the little beaded gold one that's like really popular. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. Ring sets, Amazon, Princess Polly. Actually, don't get Princess Polly jewelry. It never lasts. It tarnishes so quickly. Honestly, I've had the best luck with like cheap jewelry from Amazon. A jewelry dish. There's so many cute ones that will just 
just like spice up your vanity top or your countertop and make it so cute or a jewelry organizer like a hanging thing or like a jewelry box anything like that lion latch jewelry keychain this blew up on tiktok it's giving like shark tank i don't know if they actually went on they might have actually gone on shark tank it's like a little rubber case that you put on your keys or your backpack and then if you're ever someplace like either at the gym or you're at a pool or you're at the beach and you want to take your jewelry off but you never want to actually because you don't have anywhere to put it and you're scared if you just throw it in your bag you're gonna lose it having this little case thing you just put it all in there and it's like a safe place for it when you're on the go but you want to take off your jewelry and put it back on for whatever reason claw clips hats either trucker or like dad caps super cute sunglasses blue light glasses cute keychain lululemon has a super cute one it's like yay big super cute it has a little like um what's it called carabiner thing Louis Vuitton has a really cute one that I actually have it's cute I don't know if it's worth the money for like a little keychain but if like that's your vibe then that's your vibe wristlet either Lululemon coach Marc Jacobs Kate Spade Michael Kors any designer brands whatever you're feeling going kind of with that a wallet slash card holder again from any of the brands I just listed Lululemon belt bag or a dupe I used to make fun of this so much like I don't know when the fanny pack um I honestly want to call it fanny pack gate I want to call it Lululemon belt bag gate. Um, you know, people say like pizza gate. I actually have no f***ing idea what pizza gate is. Isn't that some weird like conspiracy theory about like people eating kids or something? Mm, it is. No, it was like a pizza serve. I'm not getting into it. <laughs> when every pulled up to school with a fanny pack my senior year I was like what the hell is going on you guys all look stupid and then I got one I'm not gonna lie I still feel a little embarrassed wearing it I'm so basic like I'm so basic but for some reason I like to hide it like I want to try to be unique I'm like every other bitch but I try to hide it a little bit so it's like when I'm just like flashing my Lulu belt bag it's like okay you're every other bitch for real but I feel like being like every other bitch it's fine. The bow bag is actually really convenient if you travel a lot or if you just don't like carrying a purse around or you like hiking or some shit. like so many different uses. Next, a small purse slash crescent purse bag. New purses are so fun just as like an accessory and then also it's convenient because you can like carry your stuff around. <laughs> yeah, I just groundbreaking news. I just told you what a purse is. <laughs> In case you didn't know, Amazon has adorable bags. Don't feel like you need to ask for like a $300 purse. Like literally find a $30 one on Amazon. It'll do you right. Bagu is a brand I found that has a lot of cute purses. Princess Polly, Anthropology, Canvas tote bag, pretty self-explanatory, or a structured tote bag, which guys I want. I wanted it last year and I was like, there's literally no way that this is worth this money. The Marc Jacobs, like the tote bag, it's so expensive and it's so basic and they literally have one on Amazon that says the tote bag but like not Marc Jacobs and like it's like $12 and I'm like okay maybe I should just get that one but I want the Marc Jacobs one so bad I've resisted it like I've resisted it I was like that is so dumb like why would I why want would that it's so <laughs> I want it so bad look how cute it is and there's so many different options so you can ask for the Marc Jacobs one or you can get like everything tote that's all over TikTok with like the whole like there's hella pockets and stuff you could ask for a designer purse I was gonna say more, but that's all I got. A new backpack, North Face, Lululemon, some of my favorites. The Bay's Weekender bag, y'all. This is another thing where I was like, that's expensive. I don't know if that's worth it. I got it for my best friend for my graduation gift. It's worth it. I use it damn near every time I go on like a weekend trip, hence the name Weekender bag. It's perfect for packing for just like one or two nights somewhere. You can put your shoes in the bottom or put your makeup in the bottom, or you can use the bottom as a cooler. It doesn't actually keep your stuff cold. Actually, it kind of does. There's some weird technology going on. But you know what I mean? Like, if I'm going to a, a little sleepover somewhere. Or there's dupes. If you don't want the actual base one, there's dupes all over Amazon. A cute luggage set with, like, multiple size suitcases. Or you can get, like, a carry-on that matches your suitcase. Something like that. Water bottle. Stanley. Simple modern. It's a Stanley dupe, but it looks cuter than a Stanley. And it works just as fine and it's cheaper. I've had two of these. My mom, unfortunately, at my graduation party, or the day of my graduation, party where we were all getting ready for it and tensions were already very high she knocked it off the counter and it landed right on this handle human flaw not the water bottle it's heavy like when it's filled up and it fell full and right on the handle that bitch snapped off but i immediately got a new one because this is literally my emotional support water bottle i have to take it everywhere hydro flask yeti you guys know the popular water bottle brands 
few of my favorite makeup brands, Charlotte Tilbury, e.l.f., Rare Beauty, Tarte, Say, Glossier, Morphe, Benefit. Going more specific, Sephora or Ulta gift sets. The Refi Glow and Sculpt Primer. I really want this. I don't know why I didn't get anything. Guys, the Sephora like annual sale just passed. I didn't get anything. I was like, I have so much makeup and skincare. I don't need anything. And then literally like, a few days passed after the sale was over and I was like, there's so many things that I want right now that I'm going to end up buying myself anyways. Should have just got them during the sale. So I'm praying that they have a good Black Friday sale too. Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops or the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Same deal. Super Gloop Glow Screen. Either the regular one or the tinted one. I have like the dark version of the tinted one and I find it as a replacement for my Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. It's sunscreen. It makes your face glowy and dewy and beautiful. And it's tinted. It makes you look so much more tan than you really are. I literally use it. It looks crazy when I first put it on. Like I look orange. But then once I blend it in more and then put my makeup on top, it's beautiful. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter or the e.l.f. Halo Glow. That's the dupe. Kosas Concealer, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, LYS Bronzing Stick. Maybe I should put it like right here. Then you won't be able to notice that I'm looking down. You can still tell that I'm looking down, can't you? <laughs> LYS Bronzing Stick. I already say that. Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick, Milk Bronzing Stick, Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, Milk Stick Blush, Benedet- but be Tongue Twister here. Benefit Benetint. I love this stuff. Eyeshadow palettes, some of my favorite palettes. Oh, you can see my laptop now, that's great. Some of my favorite uh, eyeshadow palettes are from Tarte and Anastasia Beverly Hills. The L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. <laughs> Oh my god. Urban Decay All Nighter Glow Setting Spray. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Set. I got this for Christmas last year and I used every single one of those items until they ran dry, baby. The Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump, which I think is still on sale on TikTok Shop. Maybe. Actually, I don't know if it is when you're still watching or when you're watching this. Dior Lip Oil, Sephora Plumping Gloss. Super good underrated lip gloss right here, you guys. So underrated. One of my friends, I just think of her and I think of this Sephora lip gloss she has it on her at all times and like we're always asking to borrow it like when we're with her and she's like putting it on we're all like okay group lip gloss session like let's all go an eyelash curler makeup brushes powder puffs beauty blender makeup bag they're super cute ones that are like quilted floral print like super girly they have them on like um, TikTok shop <laughs> or they have them on Amazon I have one linked on the Amazon wish list Moving on to skincare slash body care slash self care. <laughs> Super, uh, we're not really sure what this category actually is, clearly. A skincare fridge. I still think the thought of putting on, like, cold serums and cold lotions and, like, cold, like, your gua is cold and it'd be so good. A few of my favorite skincare brands. Drunk Elephant, Glow Recipe, The Ordinary, CeraVe, Biosense, Caudalie, Youth to the People, Pharmacy. More specifically, Youth to the People Kale Superfood Cleanser, The Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner. I have not tried it, but I've heard it's very good. Caudalie Vinyl Perfect Serum. I love this. I have it. Been using it for like a year now. Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting Exfoliant. Again, same with the last thing. I've been using this for years. I love it. Caudalie Premier Crew Cream. Basically just their moisturizer. It's really expensive, but guys, it is so worth it. Pharmacy Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. Herbivore Blue Tansy Mask. Caudalie Instant Detox Mask. Pharmacy Honey Potion Mask. Glossier Bon... Glossier... Glossier, bomb.com. Aquaphor, either tubes of Aquaphor, sticks of Aquaphor. Aquaphor has sprays. They probably have everything. <laughs> the Summer Fridays Lip Butter, Road Lip Peptide, Laneige Sleeping Mask, Eye Patches, like the cute little skin carry ones, Eyelash Serums, Babe Lash, Grande Lash. I can't use eyelash serums. I don't know if I just have like very sensitive eyes or what it is, but every time I use them, my eyes just get like very, very irritated. But I know that they work amazing for some people, so don't let that like steer you away. I'd give it a try. Get like a small version first. Make sure that your eyes don't blow out of your head. Okay, that was a little much. Hero pimple patches. They're like the only pimple patches that I stand by religiously. An ice roller or an ice mold for like facial massage things. Deep, deep puffin, deep, whatever. Oh, I pissed myself off. A gua sha, native body wash, method body wash, tea tree, tea, I would say that wrong. Tea hut, tea, tree hut. What the fuck? Tree Hut Scrubs and Body Creams. A beautiful, beautiful. Sol de Janeiro sets, or if you have a specific scent that you like, you could get just like the perfume or the body lotion, the boom boom. Actually, did you know it's called boom boom cream? 
I saw a TikTok from Sol de Janeiro's TikTok page and they said boom boom cream and my eyes went Why is it called boom boom cream? And why did you spell it like that? Why did you spell it like that? Perfumes! YSL Black Opium. I'm naming a few of my favorites, okay? YSL Black Opium, Sol de Janeiro, um, any scent. Oh wait, I actually didn't even name... Oh. 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 See, like, I named YSL Black Opium, but then I just put, like, Glucci. <laughs> I put Gucci and, like, Glossier just, like, without the actual perfume. So I guess I'm naming brands that I recommend. Gucci, Glossier, Marc Jacobs, Michael Germain, Urban Outfitters has great perfumes, Chanel, Ariana Grande, Replica. All great brands to look into perfumes. The, oh, what is the brand name? Gourmand? It's the Fleur de Blonde perfume. So many of the Urban Outfitter ones, like, perfumes are so slept on they last they're literally $25 compared to like a hundred and eighty dollar perfume the Fleur de Blonde is my most complimented perfume it makes me like smell the best in my own opinion get that ask for it but wait for me to like stock up and order it before you guys like sell it out okay skincare headband silk eye mask to sleep in a certificate whether that's like a massage certificate or a nail salon certificates so you can go get whatever treatment you want done and then I didn't really know where to put this um, I felt like it kind of went with like self-care ish things a journal whether that's like a wellness journal, a five minute journal, a journal for like just journaling or like writing random stuff down. My hair is my most complimented attribute and I haven't had it done in like six months. It is so severely grown out, but I'm trying to preserve its health right now before I get it done again. I'm gonna get it done either like end of December or beginning of January for my mm, little sneak peek, my glow up for the new year with me. Duh, but hair care is something I'm very passionate about so many people ask me how I get my hair to grow and stuff I'm gonna be straight up with you. I've always had pretty long hair in seventh grade I got my hair chopped to here and in eighth grade my hair was down here It grows so fast, which I'm so grateful for it's literally like it gets stuck in my pants guys If I'm sitting down and I stand up and I have like tight jeans on or something It'll get like caught in my pants and it'll pull my hair. Yes, it grows very fast But I think since a young age I've taken really good care of my hair and I invest in good high quality hair products. I'm not using Pantene. If you use Pantene, I get it. It's cheap. If you don't really care, then that's totally fine. Like I'm not trying to shame you for using Pantene. I just always have invested in my hair because I care so much about my hair. And a few of my favorite brands are Olaplex, Way, Amica, Lanza, or Orb, I think you say, Orb. Or Bumble and Bumble more specifically a few of my favorite products. These are all products that I use on my hair Okay, I in the other categories I listed things that I do have yes But a lot of them are things that I don't have and like I would like to have or like other people would like to have But these are all things that I dead ass have tried like all of these hair treatment products I've tried and I love and I use the Lanza lustrous shampoo and conditioner is my go-to shampoo and conditioner the Lanza keratin healing oil My favorite hair oil of all time the Lanza trauma treatment. It's like a leave-in conditioner Conditioner, the Oreb Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo and Conditioner, the Lanza Keratin Healing Mask, the Amica Hair Mask are all really good. Next, you could ask for a wax stick for like slick backs or hair gel, whatever you prefer. Hair clips for like sectioning your hair, whether you're like curling it or straightening it. My camera's about to die. Are you kidding me? Hair ties, scrunchies, elastics, um, a new hairbrush. The unbrush is very popular. I keep seeing that on TikTok. It's like the one that like does not get like stuck in your hair at all. It just like tangles it like immediately. Or wet brush. I've used wet brushes for so long. A boar bristle brush or like a slick back brush for like getting your hair very like slicked and chic and slick. I don't know <laughs> what. The Dyson Air Wrap or the Shark Flex Style. Hot tools, whether that's a curling iron, straightening iron, a crimper, a regular blow dryer. A silk bonnet for sleeping. This is actually really good for your hair too. I have a silk pillowcase, so I don't have a silk bonnet. I actually do have a silk bonnet, but I don't really wear it because I got a bad one and it falls off my head. So make sure you get one with like an elastic band that like stays on your head. And then you can ask for a heatless curling rod, which is one of those like soft, you know, squishy. It's like made out of silk usually and then you can like wrap your hair around it and sleep with it and then you wake up with beautiful curls Moving on to the home slash room category. Candles, Bath and Body Works, Candier. I think that's how you say it. They have great candles. Summer Fridays makes candles, apparently. I think that would be something fun to ask for. Um, or White Barn candles. Electric lighter. 
to light your candles throw pillows just like cute pillows that you're interested in urban outfitters has a adorable ones a silk pillowcase or an entire silk sheet set with like the sheet that's silk and the pillowcases a heated blanket a weighted blanket an ugg blanket i have an ugg blanket it is my favorite thing in the whole world it might not seem like it's worth it but maybe it is going with that a barefoot dreams blanket i don't have a barefoot dreams blanket but i assume it's pretty comparable to the ugg blankets just because i know that they're so soft a new cute comforter either one that's like super cute and girly like florals or if you want just like a new white one i want a new comforter this year i want like a super fluffy white one with like little like lace not lace but like little like scallop detailing i don't know a standing mirror for your room a vanity mirror with lights for you to do your makeup and hair and stuff a himalayan salt lamp a hatch alarm clock i have one of these people will say like oh my god it's life-changing it made me a morning person i would not necessarily claim that for myself but it is a great alarm clock and i love the fact that i have like a noise machine like i like to sleep with like white noise on it's actually called pink noise which is kind of cute and girly i sleep with noise on from my hatch alarm clock and then i set alarms with my hatch alarm clock and bird like birds chirping literally wake me up in the morning it's so much more peaceful than like uh, 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 like the iphone alarms it also wakes you up with light so there's like a light and you can pick what color you want the light like it changes from like white to red or like orange to yellow or whatever like it wakes you up with light gradually getting brighter for 30 minutes before your alarm is set for so your brain is subconsciously getting woken up like it's the sun so it's actually really convenient and it wakes me up really good and i suck at waking up to alarms you could ask for a diffuser with essential oils a clothing rack or a vanity for your room could ask for the new iPhone 15 iPhone cases from wildflower case defy Apple the case I have on my phone right now I don't know the brand of it it's called velvet caviar these are on Amazon and on their website like they're a verified seller on Amazon so you can get it like prime next day a phone card holder it's the same concept as this sticky grippy thing what is this called like an octo buddy or some shit it's sticky grippy though. It's a sticky grippy. You got that sticky grippy. This video, this video is, video so, is so, long. so long. Guys, I'm just having a good time. I hope you guys are too. But it's a sticker thing that you stick on your phone case like this, but it has a little pocket to put like your ID or your debit cards or whatever type of cards you want to carry. You could also put cash in it, I guess. AirPods Pro, um, an AirPods case. I just got the cutest AirPods case from Wildflower in a matching phone case. I need to put it on. I got it last night, actually. I opened the box. Over the head headphones either Beats or the AirPod Maxes or like Sony has some. <laughs> an iPad whether that's an iPad mini or an iPad Pro going with that an iPad pencil for your iPad a MacBook Apple watch watch bands there's so many cute ones I keep I don't have an Apple watch but for some reason I like looking at Apple watch bands I think it stemmed from making my Christmas wish list category on my Amazon storefront this like bracelet has been up there the whole time but I just like looking at Apple watch bands and they have these super cute like gold ones so it looks like a bracelet like it's so cute and it's like I hate like the rubber band like the rubber like silicone but it's just like I wouldn't wear that because I know that I would think that it wasn't cute unless I was like actually going and working out or something I wouldn't mind but for every day where I'd want something cute so I would get a gold one and then your watch looks like an actual watch and like jewelry and not like this like Fitbit you know what I mean like it doesn't look like a Fitbit <laughs> a Kindle I low-key want a Kindle I always say that I want to get into reading and I just still don't it's like I don't have enough time to read but I have seven hours to sit on TikTok every night absolutely not I'm ridiculous chargers whether that's new phone chargers or iPad chargers or vape charger I'm kidding don't vape <laughs> a portable charger a digital camera a vlogging camera a film camera Polaroid camera photo printer like a mini photo printer um that's convenient yet a mini projector a speaker i recommend the jbl speakers i always go for them they never fail me like i've never i've had a jbl speaker i actually have multiple jbl speakers now well i think i have two my first one ever i didn't buy myself it showed up in my basement one day and i was like great i have a new speaker whose is this i don't know nobody ever asked for it i've had that since probably like seventh or eighth grade it still works perfectly fine actually no it doesn't it did until my brother dropped it in the it shattered like the inside of it just got 
hooked up. So it did work and it still would work if my brother didn't break it, but they last a very long time. Unless you throw it at a concrete wall and then run it over with a dump truck, it's fine. Apple Air Tags or like the little tile things to like keep track of your keys and stuff. An Alexa or a Google Home. And final thing on my list, you could ask for a subscription to Hulu, Disney Plus, Netflix, Spotify, Snapchat Premium, or whatever it's called, Snapchat Plus, if you wanna spy on all your friends. I do not trust people with Snapchat Plus or whatever that it's called, cause they can track you. Dude, I did the free trial just like, cause I wanted to see what it was. If people have that and you have your location turned on for them, they can see everywhere you have gone in the last 24 hours. I don't know if you guys know that, it's called ghost trails. You can see like, even if you don't go on Snapchat, if you have your location services turned on to like be used on Snapchat at all times, not just when you're in the app, it'll show you every fucking where you went. So be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay you guys, that is everything that I have on this Christmas gift ideas list for you guys for the 2023 year. I hope that I could help you out a little bit. There's so many other things that I wanted to put on here. I don't know why this list this year was so long. Like I wanted to do the most and like give you, sorry I'm playing with my hair so much. I just don't like how it looks. I wanted to do the most for you guys. I feel like, you know, we've had a lot of these Europe travel vlogs and I miss just sitting down and talking to you guys because I just, I don't know. I just, I love this format. It brings me back to like eighth grade freshman year when my YouTube channel was really popping off and I did a lot of like sit down videos. Just brings me back there. You know, vlogging is fun. Day in my life vibe is fun. A Sunday reset is fun. But this, this is what I miss. So again, everything that I could find a link for is linked in the description box as well as my Amazon storefront. And um, yeah, happy holiday season. Fuck yeah, baby. If you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. I have so much holiday, Christmassy content, whatever you want to call it, coming very soon. I'm sorry, I hate plugging things so much, but I am doing a lot of gift idea content over on my TikTok as well, like more curated lists. Like for instance, under this whole list that I made, I have gift ideas for clean girl aesthetic. Like things that if you're trying to emulate the clean girl vibe this next year, things that you should ask for, like the clean girl starter kit. Okay, that's it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.